Season 3 is getting closer and closer, and we have our very first look at the Chapter 4 Season 3 Battle Pass skins, as well as brand new collabs we are going to be seeing in the brand new Fortnite season, and brand new features are also going to be releasing, so make sure you do not go anywhere as you do not want to miss out on any of this information. I am still gifting on the channel if you would like a gift from me in the Fortnite item shop, all you need to do is drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the post notification bell. But starting off first, when this brand new Fortnite season does release, we are expecting jet skis to release. This is because a Fortnite concept artist by the name of Drew Hill has recently added artwork for a brand new battle jet ski. And if you didn't know, a few of Drew Hill's artwork has been used in the game before. And to make this jet ski look even better, as you can see on the back of this jet ski, it does have a rocket engine, meaning you will be able to boost like the boats that we have seen in the game before. A confirmed battle pass skin has also been revealed that we are going to be seeing release into chapter 4 season 3 and the skin we are going to be seeing releasing is the brand new agent jonesy skin of course agent jonesy hasn't been seen in the fortnite storyline for a little while but it finally looks like he will be returning with good people upper gx with this brand new skin and this skin is called the legend skin who is agent jonesy becoming the seventh member of the seven and we do know that this is the confirmed name for this brand new skin as the imagined order did die inside of the marvel zero war comic and of course agent jonesy has been helping the seven for quite a few seasons now and it only makes sense that we are going to be seeing this brand new skin release this skin is also confirmed to have different styles kind of like the origin skin where you was able to change the armor of this skin and let me know in the comment section down below if you are excited for this brand new skin to release a brand new weapon being the firefly launcher is also going to be releasing into chapter 4 season 3 if you didn't know in chapter 4 season 2 it did look like it was going to be releasing but it still looks like epic games are still working on this brand new weapon and this firefly launcher does remind me of a semi-automatic flamethrower and this firefly launcher is taking the fireflies that have been in the game before and being able to shoot them out of this firefly launcher and when this weapon does release you need to make sure you are picking up this weapon as you will be able to set structures on fire and deal lots of damage to players here are also the damage stats of the firefly launcher and exactly how much damage it does do and let me know in the comment section down below if you are excited for this weapon to release first person game mode is also finally making its way into chapter 4 season 3 and of course this first person game mode has been leaked for a little while now the reason we do not that it is going to be releasing into chapter 4 season 3 it's because leakers have said that the first person game mode has been updated quite a few times in the in-game files tim sweeney also said himself that epic games are still working on this first person game mode and are trying to release this first person game mode into the not too distant future hopefully epic do decide to release this first person game mode into next season as they do know that the first person game mode will bring back lots of the og players to fortnite and in my opinion opinion this first person game mode will be better than the zero build game mode that is currently inside of the game right now a brand new feature that will be releasing with this first person game mode is weapon charms in my opinion weapon charms would look amazing on your weapon in the first person game mode hopefully epic also decide to add weapon charms inside of the item shop where players will be able to unlock them hopefully we can also unlock brand new weapon charms through either events or challenges that will take place later on in this season Season. We also have our very first look at the theme for next season. As according to leakers, the theme for next season will be fire, tropical, and desert themed. As brand new palm trees and cactuses have been added to the files. Here are also some files that have been leaked showing you guys exactly the code names for this theme. And this theme for next season will be most likely happening. So let me know in the comment section down below if you are excited for this brand new theme. Secondly, leaked code names for the brand new chapter 4 season 3 back. Battle Pass skins have been revealed. Already given information about what skins we are going to be seeing inside of this Battle Pass. And as you can see, the code names that have been leaked is Cindermax, Chris Rover, Loud Phoenix, Silent Tempo, and also Zircon Sweep. 
And for the first code name being Cinemax, here are a few skins we could be seeing with this brand new code name. And we could be seeing either one of these skins release into the Chapter 4 Season 3 Battle Pass. For Loud Phoenix, here are also a few skins that could be releasing with this code name. And for Ripped Harvestar, here are also a few skins I would love to see with this code name. And also, Chapter 4 Season 3 will not be complete without a brand new collab. Like most Fortnite seasons, we always see a skin from a brand new collab. And the skin we are going to be seeing from a collab in Chapter 4 Season 3 is the Miles Morales skin. This skin has been on the cards for quite a few seasons now, but it finally looks like it is going to be releasing into Chapter 4 Season 3. And the reason we do know that it is going to be releasing as a brand new Spider-Man game is going to be releasing onto Fall later this year, being when the Battle Pass will be released. And inside of this game, you will be able to play as Miles Morales and Peter Parker. Another reason we do know that this skin is going to be releasing as the Spider-Gwen skin was inside of the Season 4 Battle Pass. And in Chapter 3, we also saw the comic book Spider-Man release as well. Also in Chapter 3 Season 2, we also saw the Prowler skin inside of the Battle Pass as well. And if you didn't know, Prowler is Miles Morales' uncle. We are also set to see the Across the Spider-Verse movie to finally make its way into cinemas later this year. Also being a great time to see this Miles Morales skin release. We also know that Epic Games are still working on this Miles Morales skin. As in Chapter 3 Season 4, we was expecting the Miles Morales skin inside of the Battle Pass. But of course, for some reason, Epic did decide to not release this skin. Also, into the Spider-Verse movie, Miles Morales does have an ability where he can go invisible. So when we do get to see this Miles Morales skin release, hopefully Epic do decide to release a Spider-Man version of the Predator's cloaking device that we have seen in the game before. Miles Morales also has a Venom Punch ability I would also love to see inside of the game as well when this Miles Morales skin does release. Here are also a few concepts of the Miles Morales skin and exactly what it will look like when it does release into the game. This being the first style being a normal version of the Miles Morales skin. This being the second style being the Miles Morales skin with a hoodie on. And this being the last style being a hooded version of the Miles Morales skin that I really like. We also have other Spider-Man cosmetics like the Spider-Ham back bling that does look like it will be releasing with the Miles Morales skin. And also the Spider-Senses emote I really like as well. And another Spider-Man skin being the Spider-Man Noir skin I would also buy if it was to release as well. And when this Miles Morales skin does release the Spider-Man web shooters are also confirmed to be making its way into Chapter 4 Season 3. The reason we do know that they are going to be returning as leakers have said that the Spider-Man web shooters have been updated and are confirmed to be making its way back into Fortnite. And when these web shooters do return, hopefully Epic do decide to add a Miles Morales version of these web shooters. And here is an example of these Miles Morales web shooters. And in my opinion, I cannot wait to see these web shooters return as these were definitely one of my most favourite mythics to ever release. But time to wrap up today's video. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel with the post.